Is that an earthquake? Um, what would the jobs wizard tell you? I don't care what he tells me. He's gonna tell him that he needs to sell car parts. <laughs> sell car parts. Well, Steve's got that nap know-how. No, I still don't know how. You figure it out. <clears throat> Speaking yeah, of Napa Know How, what you been doing this week, Bob? Mm, I started watching that Invincible show. Invincible. Oh, that's uh, the Robert, uh, Robert Kirkman. Yeah, yeah, it's on uh, Amazon. Yeah. It's, well, I only watched the first episode. It starts off real lighthearted. Kid, kid learning that he or it's like superpowers are known. Um, so man. it's like, oh yeah, J.K. Simmons, Sim, yeah. Sim, Sim, whatever. Simmons. Oh shit, I didn't realize it's like a birth, birthright that you get. Stephen Young, J.K. Simmons, Jillian Jacobs, Ozzy Beats, <laughs> Seth Rogen, <laughs> Mark Hamill, Jake and J- Jason J- Zukas. <laughs> That's a good cast. It is a good cast. Um, Sandra O, oh, Walton Goggins, Zachary Quinto, Andrew Reynolds. I don't know who that is. Kevin Michael Richardson, Andrew who? Reynolds. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But it's like a birthright, so you eventually get your powers no matter what. It's Clancy Brown? Dang. Yeah, he's a good voice actor. Um, So it's real lighthearted. He's coming, you know, he finally gets, the kid finally gets his powers, and his dad's like a real well-known superhero. It's J.K. Simmons, I mean. And then it gets real violent in like, oh. in like the last minute and a half. And I'm going to go home and watch it later, guys. See, see you, Bob. Okay, bye. I'm gonna go get my superhero powers. Um, oh. in practice, I took a week off because my oh, knees off of uh, it's just plugged in. It's not plugged in. The laptop. No. no, the cords behind the laptop. Um, I took a week off of boxing because my knee is all jacked up. How jack up your knee? I don't know. It has been hurt. It's been hurting since before boxing, but. I think that just exacerbated it. Oh, if you ever hear anybody beeping, driving down your street, it's me going to boxing. Every time? Every time. Because I hear people beeping way more frequently well, than I think you are it's going It's Bob to going to boxing. It's me going to boxing. <laughs> Every time. Like three o'clock in the morning? Yeah, that's what time yep. he boxes. Yep. Then I go to work. No. Um, if Bob's not at work or did, here, he's boxing. Did we even say what we had for breakfast this morning? No. I said I'm the French toaster. That doesn't say anything. We made Steve made French toast sticks. Why am I like? Do you hear me reverberating, echoing? Like I feel like there's an echo on me. Uh-uh. I don't hear it. How about now? <laughs> <laughs> Why does that bother you so? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Why does that bother you so? <laughs> they're not sound. They're not. Is this sound better? <clears throat> Courtney and I went to a place called Twisted Citrus. Is this better? Is this better? Why is this better? Is this better? Our poor listeners. <laughs> Is this better, better than what? Better than butter. No. Better than I can't believe it's not butter. Maybe. Butter than better. What's Twisted Citrus, pal? Yeah, tell us. It's a, all about it. <laughs> it's a breakfast place. Oh, yeah? What'd you get? A vegan burrito. I wanted it. It's just... Tofu scramble. Well, I hope you want it. That's what you got. <laughs> well, you Show gave, up and then be like, you're getting look. this whether you want it or not. You gave me the weird look. And we got breakfast nachos, which just had an egg on it to make it breakfast. So. Oh, God. <laughs> it was fine. It was good. I'm really curious as to what Zach's going to present us for yeah. our... Uh, he, won't, he wouldn't even tell me. That's shit. Yeah. So he's got this great idea for fucking dinner for breakfast. I even punched him in the head wow. once to give me... I was like, you give me that. I was like, defend yourself. And I gave him an uppercut. <laughs> wow. No. I haven't hit him yet. 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 That Sorry, seems <clears throat> ominous. Yet. Well, we spar. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yet. He wasn't defending himself. And I gave him a body shot. 
and then uppercut, and then a hook. God, you can't you can't do boxing next to a next to a boom. Next to a boom, you can't boom that boom when you're booming that boom. That's good stuff. For those who are listening to this in an audio medium, so for one, uh, Steve's just continuously fucking with his mic because he can't stop fidgeting. I'm going to buy Steve a fidget spinner. I like the noise. Do you want a fidget clicker? Do you guys want to hear me click a fidget <laughs> clicker? No. Okay. You right over there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you sound like a creaky old boat. Mm-hmm. What would you name your creaky mm-hmm. old boat? Theseus. Theseus? Mm-hmm. What is that? Not Perseus? Odysseus? No. Because I like the thought experiment of the ship of Theseus. You want to name it the Argo? Nope. Is it because your name's not Jason? Yep. It's valid. That's the only reason. Aside from that, it's been a pretty yeah. pretty boring week. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Hey, Nick. Yo. What you been doing this week? You doing anything fun? You got anything going on? Been- we just recently moved, so we're still trying to get the house all squared away. Oh, yeah. Cut a tree down yesterday, so we were just burning it. Nice. That sounds like a good time. Pretty much it, man. Yeah. Drink some beers. Hell yeah. Hang with the family. You cut it down yourself? Me and my dad did, yeah. And how big was it? Like 18 feet. They had like already came and cut it uh, okay. before we moved in, so it was just dead. So we're like, let's just get rid of it. So I'm trying to find somebody to cut down my tree for not an exorbitant amount of money. I mean, do you want me to cut down your tree, Bob? I don't want you to get hurt. I'll bring a mall and everything. Do you want to get insured real quick? Fuck no. <laughs> tree work's expensive. I had Meister I- Tree Service do some stuff, and they were not the cheapest quote that I had, um, but they seemed to be the most reasonable and reliable cheap quote. I think I have to find somebody to bring a fucking crane out. Dude, they had a fucking spider mech crane. Mm-hmm. It was wild. It's the uh, I loved it. Mm-hmm. I was like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. It's a spider lift. Well, the spider lift eighty five. I don't know if I've said the apartment complex behind us has two trees on their side of the property line, but the roots come into my lo- my yard. Mm, sue them. I have to get a certified letter and all that. No. Tree law is weird. Mm-hmm. Right. It's I mean, not as have, weird as bird law. I don't have, know if there's anything have, I learned from Reddit. It's the tree law is fucking crazy. You have air. You have air right. So anything that is over the fence, you can cut. But it's like the roots. It's the roots. The roots. I want the. I want them out of my yard. You want Quest Love out of your yard? <laughs> Get out! You drum too damn much. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you DJing now? Anyway. That dude's got some sweet gigs, man. Yeah. He was in the roots and now he went with Fallon and mm-hmm. all that. He he did the he DJ'd the fucking Oscars. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. He's I also a very awkwardly Oscars. shaped man. Have you ever seen him like just walk around? He's a very awkwardly shaped man. He's very pear shaped. Mm-hmm. He's got this like upper body that's just looks like an average guy, you know, probably a little overweight, nothing crazy. But then he stands up and like his mid body is just large. He's got a donk. <laughs> I was just about to say, does he have a donk? He's got, he's got a, are you looking up Quest Love standing up? No. <laughs> I'd rather see Quest Love laying down. <laughs> Steve's looking up Quest Love standing up. I think we all are. Quest, Quest Love. Love. Quest Loke. Standing up. It gave me a, a Destiny's Child song. Gave me Tonight Show drummer Quest Love stumps Rachel in from Rachel Ray Show. <laughs> is that your, is that your celebrity Ray. crush? Rachel Ray? Yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> you don't like her? I mean, she's, she's attractive, but definitely not like my celebrity crush. You don't you don't like her smoky voice? No. <sighs> Jeez, yeah. There's no way that man doesn't have a, yeah. a, a doesn't have a dump truck. Right. Right. 
I was going to say I love when my breakfast strips for me. This is the whole reason I said I was going to be a chicken pimp. Oh, did we talk about what we had for breakfast? She look, she's baby girl Rachel Ray. She's that. What are you looking at now? Baby girl Rachel Ray. Oh, yeah, she's that. Right. I'd I'd kiss her. I'd let her feed me dinner. <laughs> you would not let her talk though, would you? I don't mind. You guys let me talk while I'm feeding you breakfast. You don't have a smoky voice though. Give me that really. Give me that jet dry. <laughs> Give me that jet dry. Give me that jet dry. Is she a jet dry spokesperson? No. I don't know. That's now, something I don't know about. Now she is. Now she okay. is. I'll deep, I'll deep fake. I'll deep fake a video for that. Nick, you said you guys are getting stuff together at your house. I know you got a couple weeks off because you just did so much work on this tree. But, like, what's your next one? Getting the fence put up. Mm. Fuck. Mm. Fences. Got to keep those wild children contained. <laughs> yeah, have you thought about and one of those? By law, uh, I'm not allowed to put them in actual cages. So. <laughs> <laughs> have you thought about one of those invisible fences? Just like, <laughs> put a fucking shot, shot, with shot gallers on my kids? <laughs> I think you might get in less trouble for putting them in cages. <laughs> for putting them in cages, yeah. <laughs> Have you thought about that, Steve? <laughs> oh, I think about it all the time. My kid's smart Steve enough to take probably, them off, though. Not if you put a padlock on it. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't gotten her uh, thieves tools yet? Fuck if I know. Yeah, when are you going to buy her, her own set of thieves tools? I feel like that's one of those things that you have to steal for yourself. It's like an initiation ritual. Is that how you got yours? I'm not at liberty to discuss it. <laughs> if you put if you if you put a filter <laughs> over here, yes. no, here, hold on, Steve. Nobody will know it's you. All right, now you're good. I'm not at liberty to discuss that. Oh wow! Can you just tell Holy me? Shit. Can you just say Autobots roll out, please, real quick? Autobots roll out. Thank you. Autobots roll out. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to do the fence yourself? No. Yeah, that's a lot of fucking work. Not at all. No, I like dig holes and stuff. Yeah, we found a company to do it relatively cheap. So nice. oh, yeah. we're going to go that route. So and then that and then uh, got to dig out the fire pit. We have where we were just burning shit yesterday, but we mm-hmm. actually got to put like a, a oh. ring around it. <laughs> I was sure? just pretty much just burning grass where I wanted my ring. <laughs> Are you doing like <laughs> pavers? Or? Yeah, we'll do brick and... You can buy those kits at like Home Depot and just mm-hmm. get you all the brick and then the steel ring around it. Nice. We're just going to do that. That's what so. I was thinking of doing, but I'm afraid that the roots are just too far into the yard. To have God to damn it, Questlove! <laughs> <laughs> his, his legs don't quit. They just keep growing. Just get a sawzall. That dog keeps growing. The, the, dog dog. Keeps, <laughs> the roots have no chance. Against the because they they do saws all, don't they? You can saws all the roots. Sorry, I mean, I have a, <clears throat> I do have a chainsaw. But I'm really upset because I can't think of anybody else in the roots name right now. Uh, chainsaw is okay, but when you get the chainsaw in dirt, they don't like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know they don't like that. I, I guess, don't know why. I just I, yeah, you, I yelled at him about it. Wait till it's frozen, and he just fucking plunge that motherfucker. They are good for ice. I've seen some people carve an ice. With I, I used to carve ice with chainsaws and what? die grinders. What? What? Yeah, when I was at JVS, I did ice carving. Like, more than once? Yeah. Did you carved like a cool? seal out of fucking ice. Seal? Yeah. Like, the musician seal? Yeah. <laughs> I got it all done. It looked great. And I was like, oh, fuck. I fucked up his face. And I just had to fucking take the chainsaw. Caught it face. on fire? No, he was like, no. <laughs> He was no, like, when you catch like, ice on fire, it smooths it out. It's the last like, thing you want. He was like, no, I'll change. <laughs> I just Googled seal and. <laughs> yeah. It's like, are you, do you want the cute animal or the singer? <laughs> Put seal on ice. How about a seal with an eel in its nose? Well, that feels, that feels so bad. <laughs> But I feel real good to get it out. Mm-hmm. I don't know why, but it's like, do you want to see Heidi Klum? Uh, <laughs> because they, they were married, married yeah. for a while. Oh, okay. To the <laughs> seal with an eel in its yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yep. Man. She's real. She's all about uh, interspecies relations. It's kind of.